Namaste. I'm with you here today to talk about the coronavirus and uh, its implications and precautions that we should all take as responsible citizens because we can help the government and the world at large in containment by being aware of the scenario. The history and the nature of the virus is by now very well uh, publicized on social media, so I'm not going into it. Globally, we may be worried about the fact that you know there have been over 80,000 identified cases, over 3,000 deaths. But putting some of these facts into perspective, I just want to start off by saying we should be alert, we should be aware, but we should not be alarmed. Let's not get scared about the scenario. The important aspect of what is in our hands is that containment and prevention. And what do I mean by this? Number one, the symptoms are to be recognized. So a sore throat, a runny nose, a cold, fever, all these are early symptoms. But the fact is that for 14 days after being infected by this virus, these symptoms can lie dormant. So we need to go one step earlier into our whole awareness and prevention aspect and that is to stay away from airdrops from anyone who has a cold or a runny nose. So anyone sneezing, try to make sure you stay away. Don't go into crowded spaces if you can avoid it. And uh, if you're in these type of crowded spaces, at that point of time, a mask is uh, advised. However, all N95 masks are to be used only by medical people who are at the forefront of treating sick patients. Others can protect themselves through distance or by wearing a simple three-ply mask. Hand sanitization and avoiding contact. So wash hands, use hand sanitizers, do namaste instead of shaking hands are all very simple and smart ways to keep yourself safe. Uh, I really do want to highlight that actually the potential of having a fatality post being infected with this virus is now under 0.9%. However, those who are vulnerable, which is the elderly, those who are immunosuppressed on other medications or have comorbidities, they are a, bit, a lot more vulnerable and those individuals should be carefully protected. So elderly parents at home, please uh, keep them at home, minimize their moving out. And if you have staff coming into the house, ask them to follow these safety regulations. The typical cleaning of the homes, uh, rubbing of surfaces, etc. You can start adding a disinfectant into mopping and swabbing. Anyone who has a public office or public areas, please make sure that the housekeeping staff are using disinfectants. So not just good smelling things, but things who can really fight uh, disinfectants that can fight against a virus should be used for cleaning all surfaces. And also tell your own teams and staff in offices to take responsibility for their own working space. So wipe surface areas. If people can work at home with no disruption in the work, it's a good idea to do so. So precautions uh, really are you know, wear a mask if you're in public areas, otherwise don't protect the elderly. Uh, minimize hand contact with surfaces as well as with other individuals. Protect yourself or move away from anyone who's sneezing or who has a cold. And if you are exposed in any way to someone with these conditions who has also had uh, an additional risk factor of having traveled abroad in the last 30 days, uh, please report to the government agency and contain yourself don't increase the spread containment is a very very important aspect and it's actually a public responsibility for all of us uh, to make sure that anyone who we know has had an exposure stays contained till they can then be tested now moving to testing all testing is to be done only in government agencies now the government is opening up saying that a private hospital can take the swab and then send it to the government, but that has not been formalized. For anyone who has symptoms, please find out your nearest government hospital and go there. Uh, for any doubts, call the government call center number. That number is 2397-8046. Please call that number, find out more details, protect yourselves, your families, your companies, and therefore the nation at large. Uh, finally, I would like to say that, uh, you know, we have 
been through many scenarios, whether it was SARS or H1N1 or MERS, we have been able to emerge from all of them successful. The whole world is working together on this problem. Uh, we will find a solution and a cure. The most important thing now is to minimize the spread and therefore containment, staying safe, staying aware and not spreading panic are the big messages. Uh, on behalf of FIKI, I urge all industry as well as members of public uh, to follow these simple precautions reach out to the government who is doing a tremendous job, reach out to the uh, helplines, uh, reach out to reputed uh, private hospitals who are also trying to join in this uh, battle and uh, I'm sure as a country and as a world we will emerge with the minimum loss of lives and emerge stronger because we, our scientists will also find a cure. FIKI is working with the uh, health ministry to develop an SOP for all industry bodies to uh, use within their corporations. So again, we should not spread panic but follow these precautions. The first level of guidelines have been sent out. They are available on the FIKI website. Uh, please do refer to them and protect your organizations. This is very, very important. I also do want to say that while the fatality of this virus is quite low, uh, the spread and the strength of the virus is very powerful. So it is spreading fast, it moves quite effectively. People say that it can survive on any contact service, uh, not just 48 hours, but sometimes up to four days is what they're saying right now. Uh, it also does get destroyed in heat. So uh, this is a time when we're looking for the summers, but overall I'm sure that we will be able to overcome this scenario. So thank you all very much. Keep your organizations, your families, especially the elderly safe and think not just about your own uh, family but think of the country at large and please report uh, and be compliant with the guidelines and the protocols of the government and the ministry. Thank you all very much.